American officials aren't commenting, but sources say two high-level Japanese emissaries arrived in Washington on short notice today with word that Japan will make major concessions on trade. This is the Tokyo stock market fell sharply while the yen was being clobbered by the dollar. It was the second biggest drop in Tokyo history. The market down nearly 2,000 points today. The market that was the richest in the world has lost almost a third of its value since January. As the Tokyo market continued to sink, the increasingly powerful U.S. dollar soared, reaching a three-year high against the yen. But the U.S. could lose in the long run. The yen has dropped more than 20% against the dollar in the last year. That means American cars, which already have few buyers in Japan, will cost 20% more. And Japanese cars will be even cheaper in the U.S. Well, the sounds of compromise are coming from Lithuania. The president of that republic says he may be willing to delay full independence from the Soviet Union. In remarks carried by Lithuanian radio, President Landsbergis says the declaration of independence was not a demand that power be handed over the very next day. Lithuania's president struck a conciliatory note by saying Lithuania wants gradual, not immediate, complete independence. So far, no response from Moscow. Troops are preparing for deployment in South Africa. President F.W. de Klerk says force is needed to crack down on warring factions of the black community. The worst violence is occurring in the province of Natal. Anti-apartheid leader Nelson Mandela toured the area today, assuring his followers he wants peace. The fighting is between a Zulu organization and supporters of the African National Congress. So far, 50 people have died. 18-year-old AIDS patient Ryan White is in critical condition and is not expected to survive much longer. Doctors at a hospital in Indianapolis say Ryan is near death. He is a hemophiliac and was diagnosed with AIDS when he was 13. Ryan is here. He's terribly ill. Ryan went through a much publicized battle to attend public school. At one school, officials and parents rejected assurance from health authorities that AIDS cannot be spread through casual contact. Ryan finally was able to go to school in another district where the school and its students accepted him. Ever since he was diagnosed, Ryan tried to get people to understand that he's just like any other kid. He's just been afflicted with a deadly disease. <laughs> this week and save on USDA Choice Naturally Tender Boneless Sirloin Steak, just $2.98 a pound. Enjoy fresh, red, ripe strawberries, only 98 cents a pint. And take home Campbell's Tomato Soup, the 10 and a half ounce can. Get five for a dollar with coupon. on the Baja Desert, but we did it with a Toro wheel horse lawn tractor. Toros are built with cast iron parts and backed by our total coverage guarantee for two years, or we'll pick them up and fix them free. So how did we do over 500 miles of open desert? Well, at four days, 14 hours, and 36 minutes, we didn't exactly finish first. We did, however, For finish. details about the total coverage guarantee, see these dealers. After News Center 5 at 11, make a date for late night laughs with the gang at Cheers. It's a comedy nightcap. Weeknights at 11.30 here on WTVH5. Hey, buddy. Hey. That's it. Pull in here. Remember to play McDonald's fries. Surprise. There's all kinds of great prizes. Now, fly anywhere Delta Airlines goes. Even Maui. You could bake on the beach. <laughs> Better you than me. Win a cheeseburger or a 16-ounce cup of Coca-Cola for 29 cents. Just buy a large or medium fries or hash brown and peel off the sticker. <laughs> Every box is a winner. Play fries surprise today. Hey, you with the tots over here. Don't miss the 4th Annual International Piano Fair this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Save up to 40% on the world's finest pianos such as Steinway, Yamaha, Somer, Young Chang, Everett, Schumann, and more. See the largest factory piano display with over 50 new and used pianos, including electronic keyboards. All pianos are fully serviced and warranted, with immediate delivery and financing available. Manufacturer's reps will be present with special discounts and rebates. The 4th Annual International Piano Fair this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the New York State Fairgrounds in the Arts and Crafts Building. And now, tonight's winning lottery numbers. The daily number, 984. Win four combo, 5286. In cash 40, it's 7, 8, 14, 24, 25, 27.
doctors who make house calls are pretty much a thing of the past. But there's another man in another line of work making house calls his business in the 90s. Joe Paparo is a 30-year veteran of his trade. Nowadays, he only works part-time at a shop, and this is the other part of his job. The location varies. This day, it's at the Skyline Apartments, but his service remains the same. Joe the Razor is a barber, a barber who makes house calls. Mr. Donato? Yes. How are you? Hello, Joe. The tools of his trade fit neatly in a carry case. All he needs is a person who needs a haircut. You see mainly where it's a little bumpy in there? That's all you gotta do is just take a little bit off. I started when I was 12 years old with my dad and mom over on Butternut Street. We had a, my mom had a beauty shop. My father was a barber. And um, I always had the idea. I figured after my kids were growing up, you know, to, to do this type of work. Joe the Razor's only been making house calls for about a month. Already, he has 20 clients. Like Mr. Donato that was hurt in an accident and are unable to get out. And uh, working men, I had to go up and do a fellow that runs a very big pizza shop in the city this morning, and he has no time to go to the barber shop, so. He talked to the people that can't come out to the barber or the beautician, and uh, I think it's a very really good idea, and uh, it's well worth every penny uh, to me. Uh, I can't get out, I had an accident. A trim takes only a few minutes, and the client never has to leave the comfort of his home or office. Joe also goes to Benjamin Rush and other hospitals for people who can't get to his shop. I'll see you again. I'll give you another call. All right. I hope you feel better. Well, the next time, maybe you'll be up to the shop. Yeah, I'll stop up to the shop, hopefully, in another couple weeks. I should be off it. And Take it easy now. All right, now. And one other note, Joe the Razor only travels around the city of Syracuse.